Hello friends, welcome to my channel again. I am Vijay Lohar here with an another topic of CCNA and in this session we will see how we can protect our router and switches device from an unauthorized user access. And there are some very basic and obvious things which prevent our router from a physical damage like our router must be in a physically locked room, wire must be properly arranged and managed, air condition must be in proper maintained temperature. CCTV camera enabled room and uninterrupted power supply. But apart from that, we need some more steps to secure our router from an unauthorized user access. And we do that by applying password in our router device. So in our Cisco label or CCNA label, these are the password method we can protect our router like console password, auxiliary password, BTY password, enable password and enable secret password. So let's see how we can apply these passwords. So first of all, as you can see here, I am using a simple lab setup here. I have already assigned all the uh, all the IP address for each interface and every computer is communicating with each other. As you can see here, I have taken some network information for the network and I have added extra laptop here to show you how to set control password. So first of all, we'll talk about control password Console password is used to protect the user which is directly accessing your operating system using console cable or by physically connecting your router. So what I have to do here is first of all let's uh, pick a console cable here as you can see here I am picking up a console cable I am connecting with RS232 of my laptop and console port of router and now this device is directly accessing your operating system let's see how as you can see here i have a terminal basically we use hyper terminal application to access router operating system using console cable so these are the configuration for console interface and now i'm accessing router operating system from this laptop by physically connecting console port so anybody who can ex who can access your console port can connect your con uh, a console cable and can access your operating system. So you need to prevent this interface or to protect this interface so that only the valid user can access your console port. So what we have to do here is we'll have to configure console password. So let's see how we can do that. What will be the command? So I will use command enable configure terminal and I'll use command line con console and if you want to verify how many console ports are there, you can just put a question mark here and we'll see the number of console port. And as we can see here, we have only one console port with the number zero. So I will use here zero. And now I am in line mode. So I'm going to set password as Cisco for the console. And this should be prompt during login. Login done. Exit from the interface and just write it down. Okay, so now once I exit the interface and try to access the user execution mode command, it will prompt a password. And if you know the password, you will be accessible to the router operating system. So the password is Cisco. Okay, now I'm getting user execution mode and further I can go to privilege mode and I can do anything from here. So let's proceed for the next and that is the auxiliary port. Auxiliary port is sometimes also called backup control port because if, do, if you do not have control port to connect your control cable, some users can use auxiliary port of your router to connect your operating system so you will have to protect your auxiliary port too so what command we'll use to configure auxiliary password is configure terminal i'm at global configuration mode and i'll use command line auxiliary if you want to verify the auxiliary port number just put a question mark and as you can see here we have only one auxiliary port and i will use the same command as i used in Control password like password Cisco one and it should be 
prompt you during login exit exit and just write it done so now you have protected your console port as well as auxiliary port now we proceed for the vty and the vty stand for virtual terminal of v virtual tty and this is for this password is directly applicable for the computers which is accessing your operating system remotely through the network interface so let's see how we can do that like uh, if your router is here and has configured all the all, all the things you can access your router operating system from your command line directly by using telnet or ssh protocol so let's see how to do that telnet 192.168.0.1 i'm trying to access this operating system router's operating system from this computer so i'll use command telnet 192.168.0.1 and as you can see here we are getting a message like trying 192.168.0.1 the port is open but we are not accessing the operating system because the remote compute remote device that is 192.168.0.1 closed by foreign host that is this router so what we have to do here is we'll have to set a vty password so that your router operating system is accessible from the remote network like you can configure your router from anywhere so let's proceed to configure vty password configure terminal line vty if you want to verify the number of virtual terminal you can see here that 0 to 15 it means you have 16 virtual terminal and i'm going to set password for 0 to 4 that is 5 and the password will be cisco 2 okay and now i can exit from the interface exit and exit once I have set a VTY password, now like we earlier used this command here and we got this uh, message and now if I try the same command, I'll see that there is a password prompt and the password was Cisco2 and we are getting a router operating system. So now try from some other computer like i have tried early, earlier using this ip address because this interface is ip address is 10.0.0.1 so from this network i'll use the ip address to connect router operating system and i'm getting password prompt and the password is cisco2 so here is your user execution mode so here is your laptop which is accessing your operating system using command prompt by using hyperterminal application and you are fully accessible your operating system like once i use command cisco that is the console password and now once i have given the console password i can easily go to privileged mode but what about the remote networks or remote users let's try it as you can see here the remote computers or the network user which is accessing your operating system is not able to get privileged mode because we haven't set enable password so if you want to enable your remote computers to access your operating system you'll have to set enable password so let's proceed for that just configure from here and what i have to do here is configure terminal and, and now i'm going to set enable password so the command is enable password that is cisco 4 exit and exit once i have set my enable password let's see what happened now i'm trying to access privilege mode and i'm prompting for a password and the password was cisco 4 and now I am in full privileged mode. So the enable password will protect your users to access privileged mode. But uh, there is some other method. There is an another method of password enable password that is secret password. So what secret password will do here is first of all let's see 
Cisco enable and the password is Cisco 4 and now if I run the command so running configuration I can see all the password in a plain text like the enable password is Cisco 4 so this is clearly readable so if I want to configure a password which must be in a properly encrypted format I need to use enable secret so the enable secret password will protect your privilege mode to access from unauthorized user so what I have to do here is just configure terminal enable password instead of using enable password we will use enable secret Cisco 10 okay so now if I verify so running configuration as you can see here right now my enable password is no more in a plain text but it is an md5 encrypted password so this is not a human readable format so if somebody knows about this password but that is not readable so he cannot access your router operating system using this password so let's try with this one we used command first of all i'm exiting and now i'm trying to telnet the router 110.0.0.1 I'm prompting for BTY password and the password is Cisco Cisco 2 and now what I have to do here is I have to enable and I'm asking for privilege mode password and that is Cisco 10 and now I can configure anything from remote computer like so running configuration if I run the command as you can see here we have encrypted password and we are not properly for the plain text enable password right now we have both uh, we have set both password like secret password and enable plain text password but we are accessing privilege mode by using single secret password so now only the valid user which know the password can access your operating system locally or remotely and your router will be protected so guys you have got a, a concept of applying password in our in router device and can protect your operating system i hope you like this video if so please do subscribe and share with your friends until next topic in next video bye bye